and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me from another new location and we've got overcast skies, a little bit of drizzle and I've never been here before so it's always a little bit interesting when you're in a new spot. So I'm hoping, I'm always hoping, right? We're hoping we can get something cool today. I can hear plenty of birds chirping in the background. We've got a little bit of marsh over here. Looks like a couple little water birds are floating around. And um, I'm going to take a little walk through the forest and see what we can find. So I hear a lot of life, even with the weather, so that's promising. So let's see what we got going on today. Alright, so I just had to come and uh, get some shelter from the rain here. I was just getting ready to kind of pack it up and head towards the vehicle and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a minute, see if anything shows up. And a wild turkey came out of nowhere. So I was able to get some video of this turkey, get some pictures, and it's not the most extravagant animal, I know. But hey, I'm out here to photograph whatever I see and uh, that turkey was pretty cool. So. I was able to get a couple good shots, a couple sharp shots. I had to up my shutter speed up to around 1 400, 1 500th of a second. And I ended up shooting around F9 um, just to get a little bit more depth of field because the turkey's so big. And when you're zoomed in to 600 millimeters on this, if you're down at F6.3, the depth of field is so shallow that the bird's head wasn't getting uh, the focus that I wanted. So I'll show you some of those shots. I think those came out all right. And yeah, I might just hang out in the rain and find some more turkeys to shoot. It's coming down pretty good. Gear is soaked, but we're doing okay. So, give it a few more minutes and we'll get back out there. So I'm just hanging out here in the shelter, basically, and we just had, I think it was an eastern bluebird. I don't know. You know, I'm still so new to wildlife photography, but I think an eastern bluebird just came by. I got some video. I'll let you tell me in the comments if I'm right. But nice. That is awesome. You know, that is so cool, especially when I was ready to go home. If there's one single thing that I've learned the most about getting out here and doing wildlife photography, it's not to give up. You know, don't go home just because you don't see something in the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. Stick around for a little while. Because it seems like every time I come out, more happens the longer I'm out. I don't know. I think we all just want instant satisfaction. At least I do. I know when I get out with my camera, I want things to happen right away. <laughs> but yeah, that was great. So I'm just going to hang out here in the shelter and just keep picking off little birds. Yeah. All right, so it looks like the rain's calmed down just a touch. I had to switch cameras here to the GoPro because I don't want the M50 to get drenched. So, we're back out on the field. And we're just gonna keep an eye out for whatever we see. You know, sometimes I get to a place, ooh, 
All right, let's see what we got here. yellow-throated sparrows just feeding on this trail over here. It looks really good with the green grass and then you've got the rain in the shot too. <sighs> Heck yeah! This turned out to be a pretty good day. And you know what else is great about coming out in bad weather? There's nobody else. That, I think, for me, is where I can really find some peace. You know, I can lay on my belly in the middle of the trail and do what I want to do. So it's great that people come and enjoy places, but it's even better when you have the whole place to yourself. turkey friends again. There's two of them this time. So behind you here is a marsh and you can actually get down to the shore. However, I have had no luck sneaking up on water birds. So water birds is gonna have to be kind of a planned shoot here. No matter what, anytime I get down there, I'll put some video up now. They, they keep their distance. There's no sneaking up on them. So I'm gonna have to find a spot where I can get close to the water and then actually like wait, you know, sit there and wait for the birds to come to me. Someday we'll get that done. But this whole impromptu water bird extravaganza that I've been trying to do, it's not working. So I'm just out here drying off my gear. Um, I will say this lens coat by, um, the lens cover by lens coat has been excellent. I haven't worried about it and it's it's been soaked. My camera's been soaked many times today. I trust my camera body not to uh, fail me in the weather. And I will say I did order another coat off of outdoor photography gear. And that one still hasn't come in the mail yet. It's a UK based company, but I needed something to hold me over because I'm out here in the elements. So I think I'm gonna head back to that meadow a lot of little birds jumping around and the, the rain has finally subsided, so let's see what else we can do today. It always starts off as, man, nothing's happening. Why did I come here? This place stinks. I get so down. I don't mean to be negative on this channel. I really don't. I have a blast when I'm out here. So yeah, we're going to get back out there. It's been good so far. Let's see what we got. seen them sitting on a little birdhouse over there. They're, they're few and far between right now. I'm gonna give it some more time and just hope that we can get at least one clean shot. So that's where we're at. Well everybody it seems the bluebird has made a liar out of me. I only got the one shot when I came in. But yeah really good day out here. Good to know about this location. 
plenty of birds are chirping. We're only in about mid-April, so I'm thinking that another two weeks or so we might have a little more activity. As always, thanks for stopping by. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So a huge thanks to everybody that participated in last week's giveaway. I put all the names in a hat and drew a winner, and the winner of the print goes to a user by the name of Jake Money. So send me a message on Instagram or an email to timlebreckphoto at outlook.com to let me know where to ship it off to. Thanks again, everyone, for participating, and my favorite thing about those comments was nobody goes out there because they get a great photo. It's all for the love of nature. So I'll see you in the next one.